yo what's going on y'all all right so today we're doing a quarterly maintenance at a commercial building that we do we actually just replaced four of the rooftops here and there's two more so we got a total of six um yeah let's just hop right into it first so yeah that's what we're doing today uh, there's also about five split systems at the bottom of this uh, complex that we're gonna tackle as well. But yeah, we're gonna change the filters, check the coils, check our amps, capacitors, pressures, um, spray them down, and that's about it. I mean, it's just another maintenance again. Same thing consists in these that we do in our regular residential splits. Um, so let's go ahead and hop into it. So what I like to do first is get all our panels off. That way we can visually inspect everything, get everything ready to operate, change our filters first thing. We'll uh, check all of our electrical connections, make sure we don't see anything crazy. These are brand new. We just put these in about six months ago. Um, see if we got any error codes on the boards over here. Um, yeah, power off. to do get all my filters laid out we take pictures of everything we do that way we have documentation in our records so you can see a little dirty we'll replace those um, but yeah I'll write up my dates on them as you can see the coils obviously are nice and clean um, they do have a UV light on the inside there to help the Remy halo the magnetic style um, yeah I'll just make sure all this is nice and tight you know look at that bam just got hopped right in there got a loose wire already so we'll, we'll re-secure that and uh we'll do our of our power off stuff and then we'll hop into the uh, power one section Stop living in the past, Kraus. But yeah, always date your stuff. That way when the next person comes by, they can't say you didn't replace your filters. Make sure it's all secure again. Back in business. Contact. 
It's so good. Like I said, it's brand new. Make sure we have no arcing on our power coming in. Everything's nice and tight and secure. We turn it on, check our phase monitor, everything like that. And um, just make sure everything's in working order. Yeah, here, get a good visual, see how our coils look. It's a micro channel. Um, but obviously, again, new units, uh, just a quarterly maintenance. This is what they do. But we ain't seen nothing out the ordinary except that loose wire so far. So, um, check all these connections. We'll take this door off, check our electric heat. Uh, filters are done, so we'll get ready to power this up. So before we fire it up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the panels back on over our uh, evaporator coil there and where our compressors are down low. And then we'll check our amperages at the top because we don't want to suck in the outside air, obviously. It'll just dramatically change the pressures. Um, but I'm sure we all know that by now. If not, a little tip there. Because I'll know for sure when I first did it, I didn't know because you had your hoses that you had to hook up, you know, on your compressors here. I mean, when you run them out, you risk pinching your hoses, you know, little things like that. You know, that'll, that'll help us in the long run. disconnecting the units to the, the breakers because we did change that out as well so since I'm here I'm gonna put the labels on that way we can uh, know what we're dealing with but we don't know which one's which which is ends what so I'm gonna have to be going up and down the ladder today so little things like this you know you want to come back on get them connected obviously we'll secure that up make sure all your drain connections are tight all the way down nothing's off of the uh stabilizers see that one over there small one um another little part of it another thing you guys might want to check when your disconnect is uh if you look down here no lock nut on our wires um our ground isn't uh colored it's not coated for what it needs to be um Get these small visual inspections taken care of that way you know it's safety stuff like that and we'll take a look at some other things as well visually everything looks good we'll test these fuses um see we've got a little heat sink over here we'll take a look contactors make sure our sequences are good um that's just part of some things you can see a ground here that's just there so we'll look at everything like i said what you want. So we're going to check our model here. Uh, just make sure we got the right overcurrent protection on our system and all that. So got our model number here. I already checked it. Just came over here. This is what we're at. Mark it. You know we're at eight. We're at eighteen uh, kW. We'll check that. And make sure our, everything's working downstairs and proper. <laughs> job we got yeah, as you can see pressures are stabilizing due to you know having that door off I'm gonna get on that measure quick though like my boy Brandon said and we'll make that happen but yeah let these stabilize snug So with that, after checking pressures and all that, just buttoned it up and that's gonna do it on this one, guys. So, um, complete this system, I'm just gonna do the rest essentially the same way. So please smash that like button, subscribe, hit the bell. There's gonna be more videos to come. Hopefully I get a diagnostic one out there soon for y'all. Other than that, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Later.